questions? Anthony, go ahead. I don't have my hand raised, but um, I'll, I'll ask a question anyway. Um, um, now, obviously, you guys had some some key turnovers there uh, down the stretch uh, while you guys were trying to come back. Can you gonna kind of talk a little bit about how those kind of affected the game and how those kind of took away the chance to, to finish the comeback? Or anybody, um, we gotta start. We gotta start. Um, we gotta we gotta capitalize on uh, not making turnovers. Uh, they hurt, they hurt everyone, every team. Uh, never a good thing. Dave, you guys did a good job coming back, but what do you think put you in that deficit early, um, Kobe? I know you didn't play much in the. first half, but what to fall behind the way you did? Like what made us get in the hole? In the first half? Yeah. Uh, shoot, I, I mean, I got to, like, yeah, I didn't, like I said, I didn't play a lot the first half, but that was on me. I had two, I got two fouls towards, I got my second foul to like five minute mark. Uh, I just got to, I, I got off to a slow start. I got to, you know, I got to come in and, you know, do more, help the team more, contribute to the team. Um, I feel like I missed a piece. Uh, I feel like I was one of the missing pieces out there. As a team, we just got to capitalize on, you know, our defensive uh, assignments. Um, we, let, we let a lot, or we let certain stuff that we talked about yesterday, uh, you know, get by us today. Uh, we just got to know guys' strengths and weaknesses, and we got to capitalize off that. Do a better job of capitalizing on it. Mitchell? Well, you, you called yourself kind of the, the missing piece. You were able to kind of get it going offensively down, down the stretch. What did what you feel like maybe you changed or you were doing that you, you needed to maybe be doing earlier? Uh, I'd say being locked in. Uh, uh, I, I wasn't the only missing piece. I was, you know, I was, I was a big missing piece. You know, I know my team needs me, especially with eight guys, uh, you know, like what, two freshmen. So, uh, uh, yeah, so – Definitely, I gotta, you know, I gotta come out and give more, give more to the team early on. Uh, help guys like Vaughn out. He's playing a lot, of, he's doing a lot of things. He ended up with, you know, yeah, twenty three and, uh, yeah, twenty three and five. Like, yeah, that's and he's a he's a three guard, so I gotta be out there helping him, you know, get rebounds and, you know, helping to his shots. Uh, just you know, just helping the team as much as I can. I can't do that. If I'm out on the floor. Done. So. Javon, Saturday is, is your senior day. What's uh, what's your message to your your team as, as you go into these last couple of games that you're guaranteed of, of sort of what your expectation is for how things go down the stretch? Uh, you know, to win, I feel like we gotta we gotta lock in on the defense end a lot more. You know, that's what we that's what we do all the time is defense, and then we get to the game and you know we we don't follow. We don't do what we're supposed to do. So, you know, just going into practice um, these next couple of days and just really demanding that from our guys, um, including myself, uh, you know, come back on turnovers, um, make sure, you know, just doing those things that's going to help us, you know, win these next couple of games that we guarantee. So, you know, just going out there and competing, um, you know, got to get these wins. And like I said, it's really defense and, we, you know, once we start to play defense, uh, that led to some offense, but, you know, at the end, we, we let them get to the – we was fouling unnecessary fouls. So there's been – just really being focused, being smart uh, in, that, in that aspect. Lila? Uh, you know, for either of you guys, uh, you know, Trev had, you know, a career high in points last game and then, you know, had a lot of big plays tonight, um, you know, especially with – you know, having that sequence where he had the block and then, you know, had a slam dunk and, uh, you know, then that other instance where he, you know, fell down and then kind of popped back up to get the steal and lead the fast break. Um, just how have you seen him kind of progress for, throughout this season uh, as a freshman? Well, I feel like he made tremendous strides. You know, he, he started a little late, but I feel like, you know, he's just catching on. 
And um, you know, once once Trev gets stronger, um, Trev, the sky's the limit for Trev. You know, always tell him just be aggressive. Uh, you know, I feel like he really know his strengths. Uh, coach, him and coach have been doing a great job with that. Um, just just making sure that he he doing what's what's good for him. And you know, Trev, like you said, he had a career high. He had great great plays today. You know, he's an unbelievable block. He can shot, but hit me. He can block shots, rebound. He can score the ball. So you know, main thing is really just continuing to get stronger. Once Trev gets stronger, the sky's the limit. Uh, last question from Chris. Uh, J- Javon, I know you had a career high tonight, and I was just kind of curious. Well, what went into scoring as much as you did? Did you do anything different? Approach the game any different? Approach offense any different? Oh, uh, not really. I feel like the first half, I kind of. Kind of forced a few things. You know, I wasn't really playing the game how I was supposed to. Uh, you know, chirping back and forth. Uh, so I feel like in the first half I kind of, um, you know, rushed a few things in that aspect. And then the second half I kind of just let the game flow. And the coach was just telling me let the game flow. Uh, I was getting, I was able to get to the free throw line a few times, knock those down. Teammates were finding me. You know, getting out of fast break. So, you know, we had a good ball movement. So just just doing whatever that flowed into the offense. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.